Number 10. The Buffalo A team of volunteers in England spent five long days digging out an immaculately preserved tank from World War II. The tank had been buried 30 feet beneath the ground for approximately 74 years. The tank is an LVT-4, a 26-foot-long amphibious vehicle nicknamed the Buffalo. These tanks were used by U.S. troops in the Pacific as they fought against Japan. Sometimes they were even armed with flamethrowers. The tank was found underneath a field on the outskirts of Peterborough. According to historical records, the tank was just one of 16 brought in to help the nearby villages during the 1947 floods. That was when an incredibly high tide caused the River Welland to burst, threatening all the nearby farmland. All the crops and animals were compromised. From what we know, at least five amphibious vehicles were lost during the flooding. One was recovered, two sank in fishing pits, one is still missing, and this newest one has just been pulled out of the dirt. That's a pretty incredible feat seeing as this thing weighs 20 tons. But because it was buried under 30 feet of peat and clay, it's remained in pristine condition. It actually looks brand new despite being almost a century old. Number 9. The Bomber in Lake Mead A bomber from World War II was found at the bottom of Lake Mead. It crashed into the lake in 1948, smashing into the giant reservoir along the border of Arizona and Nevada. After its initial crash, officials did try to track the plane down and remove it, but they failed. It wasn't until the early 2000s that the plane was found almost perfectly intact. And now that the water level of Lake Mead is getting lower and lower, there's been some whispers that the bomber might finally be removed and restored. According to the official crash report, the pilot was flying low as he returned to base, but his instruments were improperly calibrated. The pilot didn't quite know where his B-29 aircraft was in relation to the surface of the water. Because Lake Mead appeared smooth as glass, his depth perception was distorted. Rather than skimming over the top of the water, the pilot smacked into the surface and skipped like a stone. The impact stripped off three of the engines and ripped a part of the tail away. Those on board had no choice but to abandon the aircraft immediately. Four of the five crew members got away, but the fifth guy broke his arm trying to escape and his parachute got stuck on the plane. The crew had to chase the plane underwater and pull the fifth guy out of the window. In the end, they all survived. Number 8. Hiding Places in the Sewers A pair of Ukrainian explorers checking out the city sewer system in Lviv, Ukraine, came across something pretty intriguing. They discovered the hiding place of dozens of Jewish people trying to escape the Nazi terrorizers during World War II. Back in the 1940s, over 100,000 Jews, roughly a third of the city's population back then, were massacred by the Nazis. But a few did manage to survive, usually by digging tunnels out of the ghettos and into the sewers. One of these was Christina Chiger, who escaped and then later wrote books about her experience. Well, these Ukrainian explorers claim that they found the exact place where Christina and her family lived in the sewers between 1943 and 1944. They even used her book as a guide while poking through the sewage system. They found a makeshift shelter littered with artifacts that may have been used by the hiding family. They found a corroded plate, a small figurine carved to look like a sheep, and pieces of glass wedged between bricks in the wall that had probably been used to stop the rats from getting in and stealing their food. Number 7. Grenade at Taco Bell Taco Bell in Florida had to evacuate after a man walked into the restaurant with a hand grenade. The grenade dates back to World War II, with the man allegedly finding it during a fishing trip. He was magnet fishing when he reeled the grenade in. Then, hungry and perhaps wanting to brag about his awesome discovery, he drove it straight to Taco Bell. He didn't physically bring the grenade into the restaurant with him. He had the grenade stashed in a five-gallon bucket in the trunk of his car. After a bit of confusion and panic at the restaurant, with the employees and customers being forced to evacuate, the Okala Police Department showed up. They were able to confirm that the grenade wasn't an immediate danger with the firing pin mechanism non-functional. They took the device and then destroyed it off-site. And so far as we know, the magnet fisherman didn't get in any trouble. If you found a World War II grenade while magnet fishing at your local river, would your first destination be a Taco Bell? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Forgotten Mortars In Humboldt, Tennessee, a family woke up to a rather shocking discovery. Xavier Dennis was alerted by a landscaper working in his backyard that there were some World War II mortars hidden in the dirt. The landscaper uncovered them while toiling in the backyard near the Dennis's shed. 
The family had been living in the house for about 10 years and had no idea they were sleeping with live mortars outside just waiting to explode. Well, only one of them was actually live. The other had its primer removed, leaving it as just a shell. The Jackson bomb unit came in and safely removed the live explosive. The family was able to hold on to the other one. They're now hoping to pawn it off at an antique shop for a few hundred bucks. Number 5. Tank in a Swamp An abandoned Soviet tank that had been underwater for over seven decades was recently discovered in a swamp. The tank is a KV-1, the standard in heavy tank machinery at the time that the Germans were invading in 1941. It had a massive 75mm gun, thick armor plating, and was immune to most of the anti-tank weapons that the Germans were using. This made it a real beast in the Soviet army. The KV-1 was found by workers near the small town of Sino in Belarus. It appeared to have been scuttled with explosive charges. Workers and salvage crews found the tank with its turret upside down and totally separated from its chassis. Plus, its chassis was pretty much destroyed. The tank even looked blackened as if it had burned in a fire. From what the experts can put together, the tank was probably involved in the Battle of Seno. This was without a doubt one of the largest and bloodiest tank battles during the whole war. Around 2,250 tanks fought, with the Soviet mechanized corps counterattacking the advancing Germans. But the attack was a failure. The Germans kept pushing forward, and hundreds upon hundreds of tanks were lost in the mud. Number 4. Mass Grave Archaeologists in Poland had discovered a terrifying mass grave from World War II. The grave was found in an area that was occupied by the Nazis, containing the corpses of around 500 people. The archaeologists also uncovered bullets, wedding rings, and other buried personal effects. This area of Poland is known as Death Valley, with history telling us that at least 35,000 Polish citizens were executed back in 1939. The massacre is known as the Pomeranian Crime of 1939. But in 1945, there was another, more secret massacre. The war was over, and the Gestapo marched 600 Polish prisoners out into the woods and executed them. A lot of people thought the bodies had been burned, but as we can see from these excavations, they'd been buried in pits after they were burned. Archaeologists found that they'd been doused in a flammable substance set on fire, then stuck in the ground. Right now, researchers are trying to use DNA technology to identify at least some of the victims. Those involved with the excavation say they hope to be able to at least tell some of the families what happened to their relatives 75 years ago. Number 3. The SS Bloody Marsh in 1943, an oil tanker called the SS Bloody Marsh was hit by a torpedo and sank. In 2021, researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration sent a remotely operated vehicle deep into the North Atlantic in search of the wreckage. They actually used satellite imagery from between 1997 and 2019 to look at oil slicks moving across the ocean. They believed the oil was steadily being leaked out of the destroyed tanker, and so they followed the oil slicks back to their source. And lo and behold, there she was. The SS Bloody Marsh was seen for the first time on camera, a rusted old boat with holes ripped through the hole where the torpedo struck. She's too deep now to do anything, but it's still pretty great that Noah was able to locate the ship and document it. She was actually on her maiden voyage, traveling from Houston to New York with over 100,000 barrels of oil, when the German submarine U-66 sank her. It happened off the coast of South Carolina, blowing apart the engine room and killing three crew members. Number 2. The MK-7 Tank The MK-7 Churchill was a heavy British infantry tank used in World War II. It's most famous today for its heavy armor and uncanny ability to climb steep slopes. The Churchill saw several different iterations during the war, as British defenses hurried as many out of the factories as possible to help bolster their defenses. It wasn't until Mark 7 that the tank was finally at its peak and entered into service with the army. These tanks were sent everywhere, to North Africa, Italy, and throughout Western Europe. At least 250 tanks saw action on the Eastern Front. But after the war, they just weren't that useful. A bunch of these tanks were brought to the War Cop training area in Cumbria. Here they were used as targets. Even today, training takes place seven days a week. There are dozens of tanks and at least five MK-7 Churchill tanks half buried on the hills and totally wrecked. Number 1. Sunken Submarine In Southeast Asia, a submarine from World War II was just recently discovered. The submarine is believed to be the USS Grenadier, scuttled back in April of 1943 after it was battered by Japanese bombers. The surviving crew members were actually captured by the Japanese and sent to a prison camp for over two years. And while these people did survive, their submarine was lost. 
It remained at the bottom of the Strait of Malacca, about 90 miles from the south of Thailand, for 77 years. It now looks more like a marine nursery than a weapon of war. The wreckage was discovered with the help from Ben Raymanens, one of the divers who helped rescue the boys' soccer team from the Thai cave back in 2018. The entire expedition cost over $110,000, and the team couldn't even bring anything up from the ocean. All they were able to do was take pictures of the 300-foot-long vessel. It's currently sitting 260 feet deep, covered in fishing nets. The divers are still waiting for confirmation from the Naval History Command to see if it really is the USS Grenadier. What's your favorite World War II discovery? Let us know in the comments and thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember to hit subscribe and watch more awesome videos right here on American Eye.